What the f is going on here? Hey guys, you know where the onset of the coronavirus has been absolutely shit everywhere. We can't meet our friends, we can't go out, we can't we can't eat zombies, we can't meet zombies. I saw World War Z last night. Most importantly, we lost our sports. I'm a big fan of F1. It's basically a sport where a lot of fast cars go extremely quickly in circles until one of them crosses a line without dying. Formula 1 for this year has been effectively cancelled or postponed, I'm not really sure. Since I don't own a yacht and, yacht. and uh, Instagram wants to accompany me everywhere. So I've built the only thing that 15 years of savings in my piggy bank can possibly conceal. A remote control Formula 1 car. I can either buy a car directly from Amazon, save a lot of money and time, it's, and it's working and most importantly it's completely child friendly. Or I can build on myself. I build on myself. Now I can either make an RC car with a brush motor or a brushless motor. The brushless motor is much more efficient, it is faster and it's much more expensive. Since I'm a Kanjus boy, I uh, chose to make the uh, brush motor. Cause, uh, yeah, cause it's cheaper. Our mission, to beat Draco. P.S. The average Draco runs at about 45 km per hour. How dare you insult me? Years of evolution has enabled my species to run faster than you bipedal monsters. The world is taken over by a ruthless species which treats us like pets. Just you wait you little shit. We will rise. Shut up Draco. So once upon a time, when I was a young lad, I managed to attend a scale model of the 2008 McLaren F1 car with very sketchy sponsors. I mean, you seriously have to see this thing. Vodafone is powerful. Mobile one is motor one. Boss is BGSS. Mercedes is just some offset star with four spikes. This model of the F1 car was left for many years in the dust until it was awoken and stripped up, destroyed, and made back together to make my first version of the F1 car with an R14 engine. Because it sounds cool, you know? <laughs> The R14 engine was basically a big DC motor fixed into the old gear system that they gave in the car itself, which is obviously not driven by a motor. I had to literally cut a hole in it with a knife and fix it in there with uh, tape and everything. It was pretty good, the gears didn't grind much. The steering system in this car basically consisted of a DC motor and a gear, which would uh, rotate and that would turn the axle in either direction. So this system uh, is ideally just correct, this is basically how normal cars work. But its uh, execution was subpar I feel, because it was held together by thermocol and rubber bands. It was really tacky. Yeah, it didn't really work well, it just turned 3 degrees to the right, maybe 2 degrees to the left, it was really bad. There was no accuracy, it was really unpredictable. It was cool though, it was my first attempt to make it, so yeah. I thought my mission was accomplished. Until I saw how fast it was. The car was as slow as a Tata Nano carrying 8 obese family members. So slow in fact, I didn't even film it. Editing while I'm here. I lied. I have the footage. Anyways, it was time to improve it because I don't want to drive I don't know, a car which barely moves and barely turns. So I decided to beg and beg and beg a lot. So if you want to use the brushless motor system with a very slick steering system 
you need uh, money a lot of it days of fundraising and begging for it finally may the gods bestow the greatest and most amazing weapons of all time a process motor a transmitter a receiver and nesc that's it so first i stripped out the old steering system and began using the new parts I unboxed the new ESC and the new transmitter and receiver and checked if it fit perfectly inside the car. Then I started the steering control arms with a piece of plastic by making holes in the edges of it. These would later be connected to the wheel harnesses which lie on the side of the wheel which enables it to turn. As you can see it fits more or less perfectly. Then I tried to connect the servo arm to the piece of plastic by using a used pen refill. The refill did not work so I used a screw to screw it in place instead and it worked. As you can see I reinforced the wheel harnesses, the plastic pieces there with more super glue, maybe too much but it worked. Then I ordered a rear axle from Amazon. This will be connected directly to the brushless motor. Then I screwed it to the back of it and I had to make certain cuts so it fits perfectly inside. Now you can see me calibrating the transmitter to the receiver. You can clearly notice that the amount of steering it gives is proportional to the turn I give on the wheel in the remote. Here you see the completed powertrain with the brushless motor connected to the rear axle. Notice how it rotates accordingly. It was all going great until the batteries arrived from Amazon and uh, they were a bit weird. One of the batteries were bulging. So and uh, it was a lot of money so I didn't want to waste it so I gave it for return and replacement I gave it for replacement which was the biggest mistake I made okay. the day that the Amazon employee came and took the batteries away was the exact same evening where our Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced the first lockdown which effectively stopped Amazon from delivering anything which is not essential like food. Yeah, it uh, basically tore me apart because I couldn't do any testing without batteries. I couldn't do anything really without the batteries and it was a complete waste. You just have to say that you're fine. God damn you, coronavirus! The quarantine has destroyed my soul. Weeks of hard work, all for some batteries to never arrive. That was horrible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What should I do? Power the car with potatoes? I wanted F1 when F1 was not there. Now the batteries will come only when the quarantine ends. Now I can only drive the car when the real F1 cars are actually driving. Wait, that's not that bad. No, it's a sad montage. Let's be sad. Why did I give these batteries away? God damn it! WTF Bro, what happened? Bro. What happened, bro? Bro.
So here we are. Uh, the lockdown is almost ending, and uh, I still haven't got my batteries. Uh, the car is now currently packed up in a box somewhere, just waiting for later development. So there will be a second part of this video where I do the testing and finish the final preparations. So you can stay tuned for that. So thank you for watching. So guys, there'll be a full tutorial coming out about every step explained uh, and how to build this car. And stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching.